Oh my god! I've been jerking off to ones and zeros this whole time! Hello, I'm Shane Moss, and this is the story of when a purple gypsy woman in a different dimension got jealous of my girlfriend. All right, guys, well, this is my third time on Tales of the Trip. It's been a pleasure, and it's so funny because I always assumed no one's gonna believe I see some purple gypsy woman in a DMT realm, and just the opposite has happened. People believe it more than I do. The last video I wrote a whole long comment breaking down the neuroscience of how I think it's an archetype and all this and people are like, nah dude, you're dating some gypsy purple god in space somewhere. I'm like, I don't think that I am. They're like, well, we're sorry. You are. And I just tend to think what you're tapping into in the psychedelic space is just the background coding. Imagine you had no idea how computers work and then one day someone showed you the programming that underlies all of it. Oh my god, I've been jerking off to ones and zeros this whole time. But that's not to say that that makes these experiences any less crazy or significant or interesting. So. The last one, I got a lot of follow-up questions. How's the purple lady doing? I also hinted that she had once gotten jealous with me. Here's that story. I started dating this girl. One day we take MDMA. What a great relationship thing to do. Oh, it's real heart opening. We're having this beautiful experience, except she wants to play me Frank Zappa. In my limited experience with Frank Zappa is music a sober person made trying to think of what drugs must be like. And he has this song, Valley Girl, which is one of the most annoying songs on the planet, where he had his lovely daughter, Moon Zappa, do this Valley Girl character. But if you're on MDMA, well, the person that you're connecting with is like, huh, isn't this great? And you're like, oh, well, I don't know if I can be with a person that thinks this is great. You're going to have PTSD from a drug usually meant to help resolve people with PTSD. A week later, she wants to do DMT for the first time. I smoke it first to show her what to do. Now, I hadn't seen the purple lady in a while, maybe 20 trips or so. She pops right in. Looks like you met yourself a nice little hippie lady. Are you just being playful or are you seriously upset right now? What, what is this? What's going on? Oh, what am I here for that I... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing here. You're the most confusing thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Why don't I start with some questions? And by the way, I don't know what you want me to do about this situation. Am I not supposed to date human women because of some purple gypsy woman that sometimes shows up in a DMT trip. Well, can your little hippie lady do this? And then she just launches into this dance where she just contorts into the multiverse, becomes everything that there's ever been, including me, and every cliche drug trip report that you've ever read. Oh, we got some trolls over here. We got a, the cat's gonna show up. There's black holes going on. All of them all at once. I'm like, this seems like you're trying a little hard here. And she's like, can your little hippie lady do that? I'm like, no, but she can do a lot of things. She can drive. First off, I wanna trust you behind the wheel. She has a job. I don't know what you do. Every time I see you, you're just in some carnival. It sure is fun. You're fun to hang out with, but I want someone with ambition. Who's paying for all this? And, and then the purple gypsy woman just disappears, which is so like her, by the way. The thing with experiences like that is integration is key. So you don't just go telling everyone on the street, you guys gotta meet my gypsy purple glowing woman. Oh, you're gonna love her. She's the best. She dances, becomes the multiverse. Just you wait and see. She's a hoot. 
integration, the most important or second most important thing that I've learned in 25 years of tripping. The first, if you're curious, is that if anyone ever tells you that Rec Room for a Dream is a trippy movie, that doesn't mean eat a bunch of mushrooms and watch Rec Room for a Dream. Because if you think Moon Zappa doing a Valley Girl impression is troubling, <laughs> Wait till you see the most dramatic heroin addiction story that's ever been on film while you're on mushrooms. Tales from the...